This is Gemar Nadarim Daf Ayin Zayin of the learning for the month of Tevis has been generously sponsored by a close friend of the Daf as a schos ili neshama for Yelev ben Yaakov v'visiyat deshmayu. The learning the entire Chabura should bring for Yelev ben Yaakov to a higher higher place in Gan Eden Shel Mayla closer to the Kisei Hakavod and as well be a milat yeshir for his entire family. We're holding on Ayin Vav Amid Beis. And we are three lines from the bottom. Levi says the Gemara, and first, really, this is going to be a little bit of a wrap up of yesterday's year as we concluded with the words four lines from the bottom. Amr of Shimon Pazi, Amr of Shimon Levi, Ein Halacha Ka'isai Zug, that we do not paskin like that pair. Who is that pair? Rav Yesi, Rav Yud, and Rav Rav Shimon that held you get 24 hours. To an olivao. Rather, we paskin like whom? We paskin like our Mishnah. That what did our Mishnah say? That a forest the Darim is Kol Hayoim, the entire entity of Yoim of day. Now, just to point out a fascinating detail over here, the Rosh has a completely different Girsa, which flips the entire Gemara on its head, and he learns that we, yes, paskin, that you get 24 hours. And because of that, the next Gemara that we're about to read is going to be completely different. We're going to learn the Pashtos, not that it's more Pashtos, but the Ran, as we always do, but just to keep in mind that there are other explanations. So Levi thought to learn like these Tanayim, which Tanayim of Laz Rav Shimon and Rav Yishim Rav Yehuda, which is what? To give 24 hours to an all the vow. Amr lay Rav, Rav says, Hachi Amr Chavivi. So, excuse me, Hachi Amr Chavivi. So said my uncle, Ain Halacha Kaisa Azog. Rav quoting his uncle's Rav Chia, that we do not paskin like that pair, and therefore do not give 24 hours. Chia Barav Shadi Giri. Chia Barav was shooting arrows, Ubadik. And while he was shooting arrows, what did he do? He would examine and annul a vow. The Ran learns over here what exactly is going on, what's he shooting arrows. The Ran learns all it means is that it's a Derek Agavdika story that he didn't give his utmost attention to, to check in order to annul a vow. Rather, he was able to hold that as long as you have a charata, as you see in the last line of the Ran, you're Paislam Becharata, and therefore you, the Ran, the excuse me, therefore Chia. But Rav didn't hold you need so much concentration to null a vow because of course the person has charata. Of course he feels bad. That's why he's coming to null a vow. So Chia by Rav would he even null a vow while shooting arrows. Rabba by Ravuna Yosef Vikoyim would sit or stand while annulling a vow. Again, the Ran learns what's the reason because he wasn't so it wasn't such a big deal. He was able to null a vow on the fly, as they say. And again, for the same reason like we saw a moment ago, because you could be based on Charata. The, uh, the, the rush over here also has a, fascinating, has a fascinating shot, as you can see really on this last line, but let's move on. So we turn over to Ayin Zayin, Amin Aleph, and the Gemara quotes a Mishnah. Tanan Hasam, we learned over there, whoop, excuse me, where did our Gemara go? There it goes. Tanan Hasam, one more time. Let's get the Gemara back in front of everyone. There it is. Tanan Hasam. We learned over there. Mefirin Nedarin Bishabbos. You're able to make for Nedar on Shabbos and Benish Alin Linedarim Shein Litzoyrech Shabbos. And we could be Shoyel on a Nedar. We could do a Taras. We could do a Taras Nedarim to create a Pesach if it's a Soyrech of Shabbos. So to be made for a neder, we're allowed to do it on Shabbos. What does that re- refer to? That refers to, as the Ran in the top line points out, a husband for his wife or a father for his daughter. But when it comes to finding a Pesach, when it comes to being Nish'alim, when it comes to coming to Tamachacham, then the Gemara says it has to be Litzoyrech Shabbos. So the Gemara now asks, Yibayiluhu is the diuk, is the inference that I just made in this Mishnah, which is a Mishnah on Shabbos in Nafkuf Nun Zayin, is that diok correct? Meaning, says the Gemara three lines down, Ayin Zayin Manalf, Mafir Nedarim B'Shabes Ulit Soyrech Shabes. In the case of Afaras Nedarim, which the Mishnah just said, a blanket statement, you can be made for another. 
And by Nishal, when it came to opening it up, you need it to be the Tzorach Shabbos. So now ask the Gemara, when it comes to being Mefer the Neder, are you only allowed to do it L'Tzorach Shabbos? Or even not. When a husband, when a father is me for a neder, when are they allowed to do that? Ask the Gemara. Is it only L'Tzorach Shabbos for Nida Shabbos? For example, a person vowed he won't drink wine and now he has to he have Kiddush, etc. Or even Shaloi L'Tzorach Shabbos. So says the Gemara, Tashima, four lines down, let's bring your Raya. An explicit b'raisa, they can only be made for the neder if it is a tzayrech Shabbos. But Amar Ravashi, Ravashi comes along and he says, no, do we not learn in a Mishnah, hachi, nadra, in our Mishnah, im chashecha, mafr lo'ad shalot techshach. So me in the neder, Friday night, right before it got dark, you're allowed to be made for the neder all the way. Until the end of Shabbos. And if you're going to tell me that you're only able to be made for a neder, if it's L'Tzayr Shabbos, my why are you able to do it all the way till the next dark? You shouldn't even be able to be made for the neder during the day to Shalai L'Tzayr. Meaning, as one made a neder at the beginning of Shabbos. So at the beginning of Shabbos, I understand, or Shabbos morning, I understand that you would have to be made for the neder for a tzarech of Shabbos. But as Shabbos day elapsed, when it comes already to the, to the during the day, to the Emsa Yoyim, then, then no longer is it a tzarech Shabbos anymore to be made for the neder. Because you're not going to do anything on Shabbos based on it. So says the Gemara, seemingly our Mishnah would indicate, they're even able to be made for the neder, Shaloi le tzarech Shabbos. So we have on one hand a mission that says only the Tzayr Shabbos, a Braisa, excuse me, Rav Zuti, Dvei De Rav Papi. On the other hand, Ravashi quotes our Mishnah, answers the Gemara, Tanoihi, in reality, it's a Machlegis Tanoim, whether you can be made for a Nadir, the Tzayr Shabbos or not. And the Gemara says, Afar is the Darim, Kol Hayoyim. Rav Yaisi, Rav Yudah, Rav Lazar, Rav Shimon, Amrumi, Eis, So that Machlegis that we ended off with yesterday and we picked up with today, and how long do you have to be made for a nether? Do you have 24 hours? Do you have the daytime of Shabbos? That machlaikas, says the Gemara, is the same machlaikas whether you could do it with Sarah Shabbos or even not for a Sarah Shabbos. Explains the Gemara, Lamanda Amar Kolayoyim. According to the Manda Amar that says, you have the daytime of Shabbos and not a 24 hour time period in Tfei Loi, but nothing more. I feel the Shalai Lutzer Shabbos may fare. That means. You can even do it not for a need of Shabbos, as we mentioned, even at the end of Shabbos, one minute before the end of Shabbos for Avdallah, you have to be made for the Neder, even though clearly there's no need for Shabbos at this point. So our Mishnah that holds that you have the entity of day to be made for a Neder, will also hold that you can be made for a Neder, only, excuse me, even Shaloi Lezer Shabbos. But the Mandam, our Meisleis, the Mandam that says you have a 24 hour time block, then included in that, let Shabbos in, Shaloi, let Shabbos loy. Included in that, including the 24 hour time block, is going to be that even only, excuse me, Shaloi, let excuse me, only let Shabbos and not Shaloi, let Shabbos. For the simple reason is, therefore, uh, excuse me, and that's the reason why. The Gemara is explaining that the machlaikis, whether you have 24 hours or the daytime period, is the same machlaikis, whether it's the Sarah Shabbos or not. And now we continue to the second din in the Mishnah, not really in our Mishnah. In the Mishnah on the top line that we just quoted, the Mishnah on Shabbos, the Kuflan Zayin, that said, Nishalom Lindarim, Litzayrech Shabbos. Says the Gemara about 15 lines down, the first word in line is Lai, Nishalom Lindarim, Shein Litzayrech Shabbos. You have to be Shail for an ad there, Litzayrech Shabbos. Ibayelu asked the Gemara. When do we say that you're able to be shayel on an edder for the need of Shabbos? Is that only when you did not have time before Shabbos? Then, for the sake of Shabbos, we allow the Tamachacham to find the Pesach, let's say your Shabbos. Or even no, 
even if they had time before Shabbos, still now on Shabbos, if it's a tzayrach of Shabbos, you're allowed to do it regardless of whether you had time before Shabbos or not. So Tash Shema, the Gemara proves this. Shaila is that Kiku lei Rabbanon lebrei Rav Zutra, lebrei Rav Zira, afilu benedarim shaylem penai mibaoid yoyim. Says the Gemara that the Rabbanin one time presented themselves to Rav Zutra, lebrei Rav Zira, even with regard to nedarim that they did not have time. Excuse me, even with nedarim that there was time on erev Shabbos be mefer, and still. We, there was a story that the Nadar, that the Rabbanim, excuse me, were made for the Nadar on Shabbos. So proves the Gemara, you're even able to be made for the Nadar, Shaloi, even able to be made for the Nadar, excuse me, when you had time on Erev Shabbos. Continues the Gemara, we're about 10 lines from the bottom of the Amid. The first one line is Ben Adarim, Savar, Rav Yosef, Lememar, Neshal, and Adarim, Bishabbos, Biyachin, Mumcha. So Rav Yosef felt, that when are you able to be shoyal on a neder, as the Tamachacham on Shabbos, is only be yachin mumcha. A Tamachacham mumcha is singular by himself. In, but bishleshed yaitis light. But in order to sit three people as a bezdin, for them to be made for your neder, you're not allowed to. Why? Mishom de mischaze kedino. Because when three people sit down to be made for a neder, what does it look like? It looks like they're educating a court case. It looks like a Bezdin. You're not allowed to have a Bezdin on Shabbos. And therefore says the Gemara, says Rav Yosef, Savai Rav Yosef, that you're only able to do it with one Talmud Chacham. But Amr Le'i Abayo, responds Abayo, Kim in this fear, Lan Afilu Me'umad, Afilu Be'kreivim, Afilu Be'layla. Says Abayo, no. Since we know that when it comes to creating this Pesach, comes to being Shail on the Neder, the three people are able to do it, Afilu Be'umad, Standing, I feel a bit if the relatives, I feel a bit even at night, therefore, lo mischazi kedino. Meaning, it doesn't look like a court case. If I have three relatives standing and uh, talking to me and they're being made for my neder, clearly it's not a court case. Why? Because relatives can't be dayanim for myself. Furthermore, dayanim have to sit when they judge a court case. Furthermore, you can't do it at night. So it says a buyer of Yosef, you're wrong. You're even able to be shayel on neder. By three people on Shabbos. Omar Rav Abba says, Rav Abba, we're six lines to the bottom of Ayin Zayin Omar Aleph, Omar Rav Una, Omar Rav, Halacha, my fear in the Darim Belaylo. You'll not even be made for another night. Ask the Omar of Amas Niti, what's the Chedesh Kaya? Charmishna already said this. Najab Lele Shabbos, you're able to make another in Lele Shabbos. And you can be made for the Lele Shabbos. No, the Chiddush that he's coming to teach us is that he can even be shayil al neder again, which is a higher level, not just the father or the husband being made for the neder, but even the Tamachacham being shayil can be done at night. Says the Gemara, Amar le Rav Abba, the Rav Huna Amar Rav. So Rav Abba said to Rav Huna Amar Rav, Achi Amar Le. This, excuse me, Achi, Amar le Rav Abba, the Rav Huna Amar Rav, Hachi. De, uh, okay, I knew something was wrong. Let's go back and let's read this like a match. One more time. Amar le Ravabo. We're three lines to the bottom of my name. Amar le Ravabo le Ravuna. So Ravabo said to Ravuna, Amar Rav Hachi. Did Rav really say this? That you just quoted? That what? You could even be made for a nether on night, which you just interpreted to mean to be shoyel on a nether at night? Amar le Ravuna responded, Ishtik. Rav, Rav didn't say it. He was quiet when this din was said in front of him. Amar lei ishte klamret. Was he quiet? Meaning that he was saying he was maskim. Or yishasi klamret. Or maybe uh, the opposite. It, the Ran explains. Ishte klamret. Maybe he was quiet because he just didn't want to listen to you. He felt what you're saying was shtuyot. Or shasi klamret. Or maybe like when you ask someone, do you want to drink? And he's quiet. It means, yeah, I want to drink. So what was Rav's Silence. Was it an agreement or not? Amar Avika Baravin. So the Gemara proves that Avika Baravin says, Is Dakik le Rav le Rabba. Rav came himself to Rabba to be made for a neder. When? As we turn over to Zayim and Aleph. And how better to prove the Shita of Rav than with a story about what Rav himself did? So it says the Gemara that Rav went and what happened? Bikituna Tevei Rav. 
in the small chamber, in the, you know, the little uh, study room in the yeshiva of Rav, Oimed Yechidi Balaylo, alone, standing at night. So what do we see? We see clearly that Rav obviously holds they're able to be made for a nether at night as he himself did as such. And we continue, Amar Rabo, says the Gemara. Amar, Amar Rabo, Amar Rabo, Achlin, Halacha, what is the Halacha? Nish'alin, Nidarim, Oymid, Yechidi, Balayla, that's indeed the Halacha. Ube Shabbos, Ube Kredim. Va'afilu Oylem, Benayi, Benayim, even if you have time during the day, you still have to do it on Shabbos. Ask the Gemara, Oymid, you'll have to stand. Va'atanya, Yorav Gamlim, and the Chamar, Venestate, V'yoshav, V'yitr lo'i, Nidroi. Rav Gamliel came off his donkey, he wrapped his towels, he sat down, and he, was, and he, and he undid his nether. So why are you telling me to let us stand? Rav Gamliel, Savar, Poischem, Becharata. Rav Gamliel, the reason why he sat down was Rav Gamliel held. Now there's a bunch of gears to issues over here. So we're going to go with the gears of the Ran, which is Rav Gamliel, Savar, Ein Poischem, Becharata. This is a flip side of how we started off today's year. So Rav Gamliel held, you cannot be poiseach with charata, meaning that you need to have more of a reason, um, just regret, remorse for making the nether is not enough, says the Gemara, so since he held poiseach mecharata, in poiseach mecharata, miyakar nidra bi'inon. So if Gamliel held, we have to uproot the vow, meaning we have to find a real Pesach that requires more concentration, uboyi yuni, it requires concentration, and therefore, Ahochi Yashav, that is why he sat down. No, or actually, we're going to change this to Paislim Becharata, and therefore, Vafilim Umar. So, what's coming out is that whether you're going to hold that you're able to be made for the Nadar, standing or not, is going to determine whether. You hold Paislam the Charata. Again, if you hold that a Charata, clear remorse is enough just for the person to say, I didn't mean to make this neder, that in order to undo that neder, does the Tamachacham need intense concentration, lots of questions and thought to find a, a Pesach? Of course not. Tamachacham just needs to come along. Say so you had Charata, great, and finished. And therefore, like we started off today, you could undo such a neder while shooting arrows while standing, etc. But if you hold that ain't paischem becharata, if you hold that the way to undo the nadar is that you have to find a real Pesach, you have to be ma'ayin, you have to study intently, then you need to sit down in order to be made for such a nadar. And now, says the Gemara, today's daf is actually very interesting. We have so many random, I say random, but different interesting topics amongst the Darib. We're about 12 lines down. The first one is Amar Lei, another one. Amar Lei, Rav Le, Rav Nachman, Chazi Mar, Haimei Rabbanon. So Rav Nachman, Rav says to Rav Nachman, Chazi Mar, Haimei Rabbanon, Dasi Mar, Rav Le, Did you see this, Tam Chacham, that came from the West, from Eretz Yisrael, and he said, is Dakli Le, Rabbanon, Lebrei de Ravuna bar oven, that the Rabbanan came to Ravuna bar oven to get rid of a neder, Vashar le nidre, and they got rid of the neder, Vamrule, and after they got rid of the neder, they said to him, Zil uboyi rachami al nafshach, we undid your neder, but guess what? Go and davin for your nefesh, for your soul, dechatos, cause you have done an avira, why? Anyone who makes a neder, even if you're making the neder, nikra chayte. The mere making of a neder is an incorrect action. Is called an avira. The Gemara proves this that Amar Rav Zvid, my kra. What is the pasuk? Five lines from the white lines. Chisichta lindar. When you stop, when you refrain from making the darim, then lo yibachal chayte. Then you don't have an avira. If you do not stop making the darim, then you have an avera. Gemara proves the severity that even after being shayl on the neder, even if one is mekayim the neder, still it is called a chayte. Says the Gemara Tanya. What is the status? Someone says to his wife the following interesting statement. All the darim that you make, I don't want them. Shetaduri. 
It's not my will that you make them. Ain't that neder. So then what happens? Excuse me. Or if he says, Ain't that neder. Whatever you said is not a neder. Loyam Marklam. That's not enough for one to say to his wife to be made for the neder. But if he says, Yafa, Sisa, it's beautiful what you did. Or Vein Kamaischa, there's no one like you. Vim Lay Nadarta, Medir Chani. Or he says, If you didn't make this neder, I would have made this neder for you. Then, Dvar of Kayam. So the Gemara proves that it's easier to have an implied hakama of a neder, to certify a neder, than an implied hafara of a neder. As the Gemara just showed us, and with this we're going to stop, that when it came to hafara, when it came to getting rid of his wife's neder, if he says, I don't want it, it's not my will, it's not enough, it's not a real hafara. But if he says, it's good what you did, I'm so happy, etc., it is a good. But what do you mean? It's also implied. So the Ran here explains that what's going on is that when it comes to Hakama, Hakama we know works even belief. One can be making him a nether even in his heart. So if you can make him a nether even if your heart, so then so too you're able to be making him a nether with an implied Hakama. But when it comes to Afara, it needs to be explicit. And therefore if it's implied, it will not be enough. Pick up from here in the next year. Bisiyata Dishmaya.